Welcome back guys. It is day two, technically, of the installation. It's been a couple of days. I hope you all had a great Christmas. Got everything you wanted from Santa and everything's been great. Enjoying your break and all this time off we get at the kind of festive period. As you can see, we have now managed to get a fair bit of our installation completed. There is lid in place. There is trunking all the way through. And I will walk through the, the site with you shortly. I call it a site, but it's technically my home. Um, and again, that's going to be um, where we have run the majority of all of our cabling that we need. We've run the cable calcs and we've effectively gone with the 6mm EV Ultra style cable in an SWA for additional protection. This will run from the main fuse board, which we discussed the other day, which is just there. Um, and we have made a decision and we are awaiting a delivery tomorrow morning of um, an upgrade for that uh, this board. It's going to have the existing supplies that are already coming out of it so all the sort of existing circuitry will be transferred over to the new board it'll have the um new submain <clears throat> going all the way out to the rear of the property to the solar installation side of things and then it will also have a couple of other circuits that we're going to put inside this trunking for example there is a socket for the tv in the kitchen there is also going to be a socket which will do the energy in home display which is part of the new smart meter um, and as we discussed is going next to the TV in the kitchen so a socket is required for that so a little 16 amp two socket outlet radial right next to the fuse board will be sufficient for the power requirements in here as we walk through you'll see that we've now made the penetration through the wall <coughs> as we discussed in the last video and we come out the other side and that's been lidded with a bit of fixed lid through the wall. There's some silicone and some various other bits and pieces that need to be carried out just to sort of tidy up the whole installation. Trunking then runs all the way through and has been lidded. And as you can see, the reindeers hadn't had to go in the bin. Uh, we've managed to get them back in place. So that's a big result. And that's one less thing for the other half to basically kill me for. The outcome of the works was surprisingly well received there was not that much resistance um they are obviously understanding that the, the whole point of this is for us to become a bit more energy efficient and as it's going to be a demo site that we can use to show our customers there is obviously some work that we have to do that is not going to be aesthetically pleasing but it will be obviously all towards the end result which will be us becoming hopefully an off-grid type of property our consumption is not huge so we will hopefully have very little or no energy bills at the end of this cables are then penetrating through the wall just there and that then is into this stud work apologies about the light level in here it is a conservatory slash extension that we didn't have any kind of say on we have a couple of lights here that just give a bit of background lighting it isn't the greatest and apologies that this might have an effect on the quality of the video you can see the cable as i said ev ultra style three core six mil with cat5 in the swa version so there's a still wire armor within this cable this has to be clipped all the way through this conservatory we'll keep it high level because we are effectively going to have some storage put in here for shoes four adults in a house ridiculous amounts of shoes three of them are male and they all own more shoes than i think i've ever seen in my life let alone owned in my life um that then obviously goes through and it will if I can just move these steps out of the way, you will then be able to see the penetration, which is just down there. And that penetration is just an angled drill scenario where we've then gone through the concrete base of the conservatory. That then penetrates through the brickwork on the exterior. Very tight. Um, it was great fun on my own trying to put this piece of cable in. Um, that goes out through into the garden and we will be clipping that along through the garden and around into the shed and we will be showing that, that as part of maybe part three which we hopefully get done this weekend the cable itself has been rated as i said and it goes all the way through the property the lids have been able to be fitted to the con to the containment trunking um there is a small amount of making good i'm not entirely happy with the final finish the walls aren't flat the walls aren't straight the artex on the ceiling makes it look a little bit lumpy bumpy so if 
we will be finishing it off nicely we'll cork it all in get it all nice and tidy and then like i said when we start to decorate in the next couple of months it will all disappear and the eyesore that it doesn't cause that much of one but it is enough for us to kind of notice it currently and as the spark is part of my job i don't really notice it but it's one of those things to satisfy the other half the cable itself we have gone with the kind of determination of a 45 amp supply hence the six mil it's a 28 meter run from point to point and that will give us the the full 45 amps at the other end based on the calculations that we can do via from various suppliers have them on site but their websites are very good for cable calculations if you input enough data um, you need to know what you're doing for those results to come back and be effectively efficient to the needs of what you have um, again board upgrade happening now which we weren't planning on doing so a little bit of additional cost but again all of this is to sort of show you how much work is is involved in getting these systems up and running and it will be broken down at the end and I will show you exactly and I mean to the penny I'll show you all the invoices all the paperwork everything that I've done and bought and paid for and installed and that will give you an idea of just why some of this stuff is so expensive. There won't be any labour costs because obviously I'm doing it myself. But the overall project cost will be around about the same sort of thing as what we would expect you guys to have to have done in some of these circumstances. The cable behind me is going to be clipped using the D lines. I don't know if you've ever used these, come across these. If you aren't using these yet, these things, absolutely fantastic. These are the 16 to 21 mils. They are purposely sort of sized and ideal for the six mil cable. Um, I will kind of do a little bit of a video with that in the next part, which will show exactly how easy they are to fit and why we use them. They also come in a 10 to 17 mil size, which is ideal for the four mil for the shorter runs for EV cables and stuff. And again, with PV Ultra and everything else that's now coming into market, those cables save hours of installation time and again hours labor all costs huge amounts of reductions in prices that we can then offer to you guys as customers again any questions just give us a shout give us a comment below um we'll do our best to come back to you but we're trying to keep these segments as short as possible so they don't get boring but also it gives you the idea of just what kind of stages and steps we have to take next couple of videos in the next couple of days we'll be clipping this cable all the way through we'll show you the final result of the end position and hopefully we'll then be able to give you a, a an update on the uh board upgrade and the hassle that we've gone through with that right see you later guys